Hi guys, I am Gustavo Polanco and welcome to my YouTube channel. From an artist's point of view, an artist's book can be defined as a mean of expression, with endless possibilities not only in the way that is made, but most importantly, conceptually. One can depict their ideas and story with text and or illustration, literally or abstractly. The narrative can be read backward or forward. There could be no timeline at all. The book can be bent or unfolded, even perforate or destroyed. A blend between painting, sculpture and poetry applied together on tradition or on conventional media. The possibilities are endless, and that's precisely what makes an artist put such a magnificent art piece. That is it's playful and participatory, since it can be seen, touched, smelled, lived through, manipulated, and felt. To sum it up, there are many different types of artist book: figurative, abstract, textual, conceptual and various techniques one can use to create one. But the main idea is to tell a story or to describe a feeling. Once our papers are cut, the fun part begins. We need to start drawing, writing, or showing our point of view on the topic on paper. Remember, the most important thing about this project is for you to have fun and enjoy the process. While you work, I would like to tell you a little bit about my inspiration for my book and show you my process. I think that before this situation occurred, most of us were blind. We never tried to search inside yourself. We walk it around and spend time outdoors without appreciating our surroundings. In the last few months, I have the opportunity to introspect, which allowed me to learn things I didn't know about myself. And I have also dedicated time to organize important things in my life that I have pending. In that process, I found a lot of things about myself, things I didn't know I could do.
the light and rising are my metaphorical way of showing that I'm always searching the life in everything. Each of my drawings are analogies. The windows represent people, and as you can see, almost all of them are closed. The wood bear with a balloon head towards me, watching the closed window like everyone else. Finally, I found my special window and knocked to see if anyone would open. Once inside, I realized a lot of lights were off. My super sweet case is filled with balloons and lanterns, paintings and pictures that I will hang on the walls and I love the place that I have created for me. Balloons and life are recurrent thing in my artworks, as they represent my dreams and goals in life. As I mentioned it before, 
There are many different tools and materials that you can use to give colors to your book. Watercolors are a great place to start. Watercolors come in different forms, dry, paste and liquid. However, in all cases, the methodology is the same, to dilute the pigment with water and apply on the paper. There are two main techniques used, wet watercolor and dry watercolor. Wet watercolor is when we apply one layer of paint and another one when the first is still wet. Dry watercolor is when we wait for the first layers to dry and then we apply more layers on top. The wait in between is approximately 5 minutes.
Once the watercolor is dry, we can use other material or technique, like color pencils. This help up details that we otherwise would not be able to do with watercolor. Color pencils are a great way to get new colors. Always apply the lighter colors first and darkest tones on top. I encourage you to continue working on your artist book. Keep drawing, coloring, cutting and pasting. On session 2, we will add the final touches to our artist book and learn how to bend them together. To give you a little preview, here are some examples of materials you might need. See you next session guys.